Hey there, it's time for a Blu-ray update. I just got some bits and pieces this morning that uh, were worth doing an update for. So we're going to go over uh, those four items and one item I got a couple of weeks ago. First of all, we will look at this beautiful edition of the stunning western from last year called Slow West. Um, starring Michael Fassbender and Cody Smith McPhee. Uh, this is a really uh, good and underrated, probably underseen western. Came out early in 2015, and uh, this particular edition of it, the UK edition, Region B Locked, uh, is the best one to get. Not only does it have this beautiful matte finish uh, slipcover, also has a lovely black keep case, <laughs> and much more special features than any of the other editions including an introduction from the uh, writer-director John McLean, deleted scenes, which I believe is all that was available on the American version and the local version here, uh, Railroad and the Moon, which is a featurette, On Strange Land, The Making of Slow West, interviews, a Q&A with John McLean, the director, Slow West in Super 8, which I haven't, I haven't checked that out yet, a trailer, and Pitch Black Heist, a BAFTA-winning short film Starring Michael Fassbender and Liam Cunningham, written and directed by John McLean. So that's really stacked, uh, especially compared to the, the almost non-event special features of other editions around the world, which was just deleted scenes in a trailer, I believe. Um, very interested to check out that short, the award-winning short film that they, they did, which must have uh, led to this uh, collaboration here. Interesting thing about this film is it was shot and intended uh, for 1.66 to 1, which is the uh, the version with the uh, the little black bars down the side. It's an interesting aspect ratio that they haven't really used so much since the, the 60s. And it's represented here again. A stunning uh, digital cinematography that really is quite a pleasure to watch. Uh, good audio, great performances, really good film, so I suggest checking it out. Next one we're going to look at is This Is England 90, which is the third mini-series uh, to take place with these characters after the uh, great film This Is England, a theatrical movie which did very well, won awards around the world, was very highly reviewed and is a great film in itself. It was followed by two mini-series, This Is England 86 and 88, which I got quite some time ago. And now we have the latest series, which is I haven't seen, so I just blind bought this on the strength of the uh, the other series. It's another four uh, episodes on the lives of these great characters. And uh, this one doesn't have as many special features as the previous uh, editions, which all had lots of interviews and commentaries and deleted scenes, etc. But this one just has 30 minutes of deleted scenes. But uh, I had a quick look at the quality of the footage. It does seem a li little bit less grainy and gritty. I'm, I could be wrong, but I think the original was the original film was shot on 16mm, and the following two series emulated that quite a bit. But this one seems a little bit crisper looking, but it still feels like the same world. So looking forward to checking out this in complete form. It's also Region B locked. Now, staying with the uh, English vibe, another Region B locked uh, movie here, a deck the block, and this is a much better edition to get than the local edition. You can get, pick up the local edition really cheap, but it doesn't have much special features. This one has a plethora. Attack the block stars uh, John Boyega, now from The Force Awakens fame, but before that he was excellent in this little low-budget uh, sci-fi action film set in a tower block. I'm not going to give away the story much, but it's a, so it is an action uh, comedy. Heavy on the laughs and uh, fun and uh, some cool cheap special effects. Uh, the special features include uh, an hour long uh, behind the block uh, making of featurette, which is really good. I'll just check that out. A creature feature, meet the gang, unfilmed action, and that's a wrap, which are all featurettes. And then three audio commentaries, uh, which I am yet to check out them all, all of those, but. Uh, I'm sure, from what I've read and heard, they're all very entertaining. Uh, I recommend Attack the Block. Uh, the, the quality of the picture is good, not great. It was quite a low-budget film with not a lot of means behind it, uh, and so it doesn't come out quite as stunning as you might think, and it's all shot mostly at night, so 
I don't expect to be dazzled by the visuals, but it's definitely a competent, uh, competent release. And it's in the uh, 2.40 to 1 aspect ratio, so it's quite a wide screen affair. Picked up this a couple of weeks ago. This one is region free. Uh, it's Matchstick Men, uh, one of my favourite Ridley Scott films. It's a very funny uh, caper film with excellent performances uh, from Nick Cage, one of his best, and Sam Rockwell. Uh, the image is pretty much demo material, looks absolutely stunning, the sound is excellent and it has some really good special features. Trick of the Trade, the making of the Matchstick Men documentary, plays like a production diary in three parts, uh, pre-production, production and post-production. has a commentary by uh, the director Ridley Scott and writer Nicholas Griffin and producer Ted Griffin, a uh, the theatrical trailer is also included. And finally, the last one from the UK, another Region B locked uh, one. It's the PBX film, uh, The Robbery, uh, based on the real life Great Train Robbery. Uh, this is a superb set. Um, one thing I'm curious about is the that the uh, it's presented here in 1.67 to 1. Uh, with the little black bars down each side, which would seem normal for its day, it's a 1967 film, but according to sources on IMDb and on Blu-ray.com, the original theatrical aspect ratio was 1.85 to 1, so I'm not sure, quite sure wh wh why that has happened. It says it was um, previously released on DVD in a 1.33 to 1 uh, 4x3 pan and scan transfer, uh, the new 2K resolution from the 35 meter 35mm original negative, and it says here it has been restored to its correct aspect ratio, so I believe the ratio that's presented here is correct, and perhaps the information that out there is incorrect. Um, this is the information supplied by Network, the uh, who have put this film out. Uh, the restoration involved grain management, uh, both automated manual removal of dirt and damage, and correction of major instability, warping, and density fluctuations, and it's been fully color corrected, and it does look stunning, it looks really good and really natural. Also, there was a 10-second uh, uh, shot from the chase sequence from was cut from the DVD release and it's been reinstalled here for this restoration. So it's the full uh, release of it that you might not have seen before. Uh, unfortunately, the original magnetic audio elements were in very poor condition and uh, had to use an existing mono soundtrack, which has been restored. The special features are uh, pretty great for a film. It's not super famous. We've got a Mike Dealey interview. He's the producer of the movie. It's 23 minutes long. Uh, an interview with Stanley Baker. Behind the scenes footage. Uh, waiting for the signal, the making of Robbery, which is a 49 minute making of. Uh, the Great Train Robbery, which is a German film that was filmed uh, a couple of years earlier than this. It was actually filmed as a three part television series. Uh, but then was, back in the day, was re-edited into feature film length and uh, dubbed into English. And that's the that's the version that's presented here, the English dub, uh, which is 97 minutes long. And we have a gallery, a collection of posters, lobby cards, uh, promotional materials, uh, and a 30-page booklet, which uh, we'll show you. It's uh, pretty extensive stuff, so I've really gone to town on this. Also got the disc here and behind the disc we've got some more stuff there. So that's a really great set. Now Peter Yates, the director, is uh, a little bit of a favourite of mine. I uh, already own a couple of Peter Yates films in Krull and Breaking Away. He also directed Bullet and An Innocent Man, which I really like. And the, his, his first film is the cheesy classic Summer Holiday, starring Cliff Richard. But uh, his best works for me are uh, Breaking Away, obviously, of Robbery and uh, Krull. Okay, so that's it for the update. Uh, got all of these super cheap by just being patient. Uh, I suggest you do the same.